friends, it's Unicorn Princess here and today maybe it's going to be a kind of weird all over the place video. Many of you that have been following me for a while know that I have a list of whatever. I have a list of things that affect me regularly in a way that interferes with my life and today is one of those days so I'm about to get uh, a little bit I don't know, real or detailed maybe? Just some real chat, okay? So one of the things that happens to me regularly is uh, I am a woman and I menstruate, right? Which is pretty kind of normal, reasonably normal, but when it happens to me it's like the, the pain is so extreme that I can't function. Uh, and I'm not just like being pathetic or being a pansy. I sweat buckets, I go blue, um, I was hospitalized uh, consistently when I was young and they always told me it would go away and it has never gone away. I was most recently told by doctors to just have a baby. Yeah, it's 2020. So if my, vo my voice sounds a little bit funny, it's partly because of the thing. Basically, like, there's no real way for me to know how it's gonna go. I normally get a warning wave of pain and then I have about 10 minutes before there's a second wave and then I'm completely incapacitated. Today I got a warning wave of pain like early this morning that seemed pretty regular. Like it was gonna be a day where I would be uh, sort of semi-conscious, covered in sweat and uh, rolling around in pain, not functioning for most of the day but the second wave hasn't hit so I'm just gonna hope that it doesn't. <laughs> but anyway, I thought this might be a good time to do a kind of Lolita video on how to do Lolita while being sick or, you know, not 100%. Now obviously if the second wave of pain hits then I, I wouldn't be in Lolita. It just wouldn't happen. There's some kind of illnesses and sicknesses and levels of pain where getting dressed and functioning is just gonna be an absolute no-go. But here we are in the limbo stage of pain where I can function and it's okay. So here I will give you some of my tips that I think are important uh, to do if you are sick while in Lolita. Also today might turn into a little bit of a vlog because uh, we're actually leaving the house today for the first time in I think four months. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving the house to go and see Paula because we're allowed to go to another house now. I have to wear a mask to get on the bus and stuff, but they're having a barbecue. I'm really excited about it, so it might turn into a vlog. So the first tip I would give is when you're wearing your petticoats, a lot of Lolita's wear several to get nice big poofiness. Wear one, just wear a singular petticoat, make sure it's one that fits nicely and isn't too tight like around your middle. I always find if I'm sick or in pain, anything pulling or pressing on me makes it so much worse. So wear one petticoat and make sure that it fits nicely and you know what, that, that will do you, that's, that's fine. My next tip would be don't wear anything complicated. Even though it kind of looks like maybe what I'm wearing, there's a lot going on. There's actually really not. I've got an OP with a cardigan, tights and socks, that's pretty much it. I pinned on some accessories. That's a lot easier than some of the other ways to accessorize, just pinning things on your person rather than having any complicated hairstyles or I don't know, just complicated accessories. Just ditch it. If you're not well, if you're sick, if you're in pain, just screw the difficult fancy accessorizing and go for something simple but cute. Something like you see here. Rosette, pin, that's pretty much it. This leads into my next point which is kind of like the second point but a little bit more specific and that is to have easy accessories. If you're like me where the pain might suddenly just suddenly become like unbearable and I have to act in like minutes, like literal minutes. I need to be able to just kind of chuck myself from A to B and if I've got a million different bows clipped in my hair I can't just go straight to bed and lie down because it hurts and it's uncomfortable and I don't need that extra stress on top of the pain that I'm already in. So just, I'm just wearing a bow and that's it. Nothing crazy going on in the hair, still 100% Lolita, still super cute, but 
it means if I'm too sick or too in pain, I can literally just rip off the bow and that's it. We're, we're good to be in pajamas and comatose for the next several hours. Be prepared. And I'm sure if anybody is uh, regularly sick or in pain or whatever, if anybody has any like lasting conditions, like I do, then being prepared just kind of comes with the territory. And whenever I'm like this, I always bring this pouch with me. This very cute pom-pom uh, purin pouch that I got in a Doki Doki box contains purely drugs. It's not, they're, they're not just like over-the-counter drugs. These are my, like my medications that I take for pain and migraines and, and a whole bunch of other things. Um, there are some drugs in here that are specific to cancelling out the collapsing kind of pain that I get. Um, so if I'm going anywhere, I will remember to take this pouch with me so that at the very least I can fill myself full of the appropriate drugs and uh, that that will that will stop any any crazy things from happening. I also always now make sure that my phone is fully charged and if I'm going somewhere I always take a charger with me because if the worst comes to the worst and I need to like let's say um, in one of my videos I was going to Glasgow to visit my friend Lou and do a fashion swap I'll link the video somewhere. And I actually woke up that day with rolls of pain as well. And I was on the bus to Glasgow. And I live in Dundee. We're like two-ish hours apart. So I gotta make sure that I have my phone, it's fully charged, and I have emergency money in, in the case that I need to call a taxi all the way from Glasgow to come all the way back to Dundee. Which, no, is not ideal. And it is not something that I want to do or like doing, but sometimes you have to. There's kind of no other option. <laughs> it's got to be done. So that was kind of fast actually. Those are my main tips for when you're sick and in Lolia and hopefully I will have shown you several clips of my outfit today. To me it looks like I put an awful lot of effort in and there's a lot going on but honestly I really didn't. I chucked on an OP, stuck on a cardigan, there's one bow in my hair. Everything else is very comfortable, very loose, there's nothing like tugging on me and in the event that I need to come home and just be like sweaty and ill and horrible, I can literally just pull this over my head and that's it. I mean, I'm that's me done. Maybe a note about makeup. My makeup is really simple. There's nothing like cumbersome going on here. I don't feel like I'm wearing a whole mask of clay, literally just like tiny little bit of foundation, the lip stuff you literally rub on like that, and liquid eyeliner, that's that's it, that's all I'm doing. All right, so I guess we might end up in the second half of this video where you may or may not come with me for a little vlog and go and have a barbecue with my friends in the summer, like you're supposed to do, oh my god. Um, so I'll maybe, I'll see you when we're on the move, I guess, yay. Uh. 17 minutes. Sweet. Have you seen what's on the menu? I don't see it. <laughs> okay, no. You can't Rex, say no to my Taste hands. the ass. We arrived at Paula's. Barbecue is full swing. It's also very hot outside when it was supposed to be raining, which is really sweet. Uh, Paula just dropped a burger in the coal dust. I'll just get it. So... It's fine, honestly. The two that are the... Hey, Craig. Hey. How's it going? Fine. Fine. Kind of hungry. Yeah. yeah, same. Chonky coal. There we go. <gasps> this pug is going to get us. I love him. Dante has died. He doesn't like sun. He heard me talking about him. Dante! You okay? No? Me! Please, I'll take some corn. Finally, after many, many hours of waiting, the first burgers are ready. Look, the, the sun has kind of gone. It'll be back. It's fine. Could you not? Burgers, 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 burgers. Yes. We've gone from burgers to chicken skewers. It's good. Hello. You mentioned they marinated for two hours. They marinated for two hours. In what? In what? Barbecue sauce, herbs and spices. Ooh, secret herbs and spices and barbecue sauce. And uh, Greg's ass, apparently. 
guys, look, I eat stuff, see? I eat, I'm a human. Oh, see? Oh, this up after she falls asleep. You should make a mock fun video over there. Oh, yum, yum. Look how cute that is. He's in the metal. Oh. These are the important things. Look at my shell shoes. They are the cutest. And this barbecue. It's a shame you just turned my shoe shoes. It's, 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 it's a shame, shame that they're jizzy shoes now. They're not jizzy shoes, they're sparkly shoes. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea, Paula. It is time for the s'mores. The s'mores. Also known as the s'mores. I'm too far. <laughs> Jesus, you, you went in there, didn't you? Get it right in the fire. I'm trying. Yeah. Give me the fire. The fire runs. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, Paula. <laughs> Paula forgot she had a coon on her You got something on your lips. Big pods on her coon. <laughs> Mine looks like a mushroom now. Woo! Everybody shit themselves. <laughs> I don't like fire, it's scary. Right, I guess this oh shit, I got it on the wood. Goes up. Look how good this s'more is. It's like, it's real! Craig, Craig, are we rolling? You're rolling. Are we rolling? You're rolling. Now we're just doing a melted marshmallow with chocolate on it. <laughs> uh. I'm bad in points and I'm sorry. You're not sorry. I'm not sorry. We've moved this party yeah, into the drinking story. section. She's going to tell us things about ourselves we don't want to hear. I do that when I'm sober. <laughs> I want to know what my food dream's all about. <laughs> You're a weird fucking food guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I just remember we did that jigsaw puzzle together. <laughs> yeah, and you kept finding the feet. We, we did that hentai jigsaw puzzle together because it was relaxing. Yeah, of course. You kept the feet. And I always, I was looking for titties and all I got was feet. Yeah. I was looking, it's first world problems. I was looking for titties and all I found was feet. And. Fuck your recording. <laughs> Good morning, please. Go. We are back and I am so tired. Day number one back socializing a bit was uh, a long day, but it was so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this weird video of lots of things and uh, let me know uh, if you guys have seen anybody yet, what your plans are when lockdown is eased a little bit more and all of that stuff. Uh, I hope we'll see you guys in the next video.